Hey guys, a bit squid here and welcome to another Unity Playmaker tutorial. Uh, in today's tutorial, we are going to be you doing uh, skill unlocks. So basically, in games like Hollow Knight, maybe your character can only do certain things until they get a certain item to unlock a new ability. For example, in this tutorial, uh, a double jump. So, if we look at our player here, we'll hit start. So, when the basic time is the character can move and we can jump like a space bar, he can jump and he won't jump again until he is grounded. So, that's when our player's collider touches the ground and registers that he is now grounded. So, as you can see, he can't do more than one jump. But if we pick up this cube here, you'll see now one, two, one, two. So upon getting this, he unlocks the ability to do a double jump. So let's see how to set this up. Okay, so first thing we want to do is actually get it working. So for example, in this one, we want a double jump. Uh, this will work for anything, um, but I'm just going to get this jump set up first. So for the basic jump, you're going to want three states. And then we're going to want uh, some more after. But first, let's just get the basic jump set up. So for this one, we want to get a get key down. And we're going to choose, uh, for example, for me, I'm going to use space because I'm using keyboard and my fingers on there. And we'll use finished. And we'll make sure finished will go to here. Okay, and then on space, when it's pressed space, we want to go to state two, which is where we're going to set velocity 2D. Make this a bit bigger here. Okay, and we're going to use the owner. And we're going to do on the Y with an up force of 8. And then when it's finished, uh, we want it to go to another state here, which we'll link to here. Okay, so here we'll call this one uh, press jump key. Here we'll do single jump state three what we're going to do here is I've finished this is is grounded and here I'll just put a collision to the event now you want to make sure that you're in this case for the double jump um, the ground is grounded, is tagged as ground. Uh, there's a more detailed thing about uh, jumping. I'll put a card in the corner, uh, whatever corner, um, to get do this in more detail. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna tag this as when it collides with ground, we are finished, and that will link to here. And in state four, we're going to do a can double jump. And here we want to do a ball test. And we're going to create a new ball called double jump. And we're going to have double jump. We've got yes and no. If it's no, we're going to go to grounded. If yes, what we can do then is actually copy these two states to save us having to make them again. Oh, come on. Right. So that will go to here. And then that will go to there. And then we want to set it up here to be yes if true and no if false. 
and that should be here. No wants to link down to grounded. So now that is set up. If we hit play, you'll see the process working. Press the space, it's going to go to here, and then it's going to check if we can double jump. And it's going to say, no, we can't. So we're stuck there. So now we need to uh, hit something which will let us um, double jump. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty object. And let's call this power up. OK. Uh, it's not an empty object, we want it to be something. So I'm just going to put a sprite and I make it a, a square. Okay, and I'll pop that there, I'll give it a color, uh, a minty green color. Okay, and this is power up. <clears throat> I'm just going to want two states. We'll put finished here, we're going to say on player touch and then uh, unlock and destroy so what we want to do here is we're going to do a collision enter if I can spell collision correct so we're going to need uh, both rigid body 2d and a box collider 2D. We'll freeze the rotation on the Z axis and then we want to leave this as it is. And then in here, collide tag with the player. We go to finished, unlock and destroy. So we're going to do a set ball value. Double jump and we're going to check that to true. And then we want to uh, destroy self. So you'll see, single jump. We're going to go touch that, destroy self one and two. We can now do a double jump. So we've now unlocked that ability. And like I said, this, this will work with anything. So let's have a look at my player, uh, game object. What is this game object? Uh, that's my actual uh, transform. Okay. Um, so, for example, maybe you want to be able to shoot. Yeah, so maybe your pickup is a gun. But what you do is, when you press the button, so instead, we can do like this. So if we delete the state, can double jump here. I'm going to add state weight. And I'm just going to put a weight action. And I'm going to set that to say 0 0.5 seconds, half a second. Finish. Give it to that real time. So we'll link that to there and that to there. But here, I'm going to put my check if I can jump and then in here we'll do a ball test again we'll just put double jump if true yes add that false no okay we'll add no so if no we're going to link back to here if yes we go to here and now uh, can jump. Now my character is unable to jump until we pick up the uh, pickup on the screen. So we hit play here. And you'll see in action when I press space. When it loads, because uh, Unity loves loading now apparently. Enter play mode, come on.
Okay, so we'll see if I click on my player, sorry. Okay, when I press space, you'll see, no, I can't jump, I can move. But as soon as I get this, one, two, I can now jump. So you can use this method where you do the bull test first to actually lock a skill, maybe like a charge jump. If you want to learn how to do charge jumps, there's a card in the top. Um, maybe you want to be able to attack when you pick up a weapon. Uh, so you put the bull test first and make sure that the item you pick up will activate that. And yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop a comment and I will answer your questions. Or if you're stuck, you can ask for help below or you can join my Discord server, link in the description and also in the pinned comment. Uh, if you have any requests, again, drop a comment or leave a comment a message in my Discord server. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. Uh, it'd be very much appreciated. And until next time, 8-Bit Squid out.